Hello everyone, this video is about how to monitor your access patterns on a DynamoDB table using the new feature called AWS Contributor Insights. Uh, so this is a thing that I just came upon recently and it's a new feature that allows you to see the volume of queries on your table for a particular partition key or a partition key and sort key combination. Uh, so for example, I have a country table here and if we go to our items, take a look at some of the items in here. I have a concept of a country ID, that being um, USA for United States, CAN for Canada, AUS for Australia, and a sort key on the province. And this is the area in square miles. These are actually real numbers. I spent the time and Googled this data. Um, so this is the format of our table here. So I ran a script previously to query a bunch of these different rows. So in order to analyze the access patterns on this table, what you need to do first is go over to the overview tab of your table and click on this CloudWatch Contributor Insights section where it says Manage Contributor Insights. I already have mine enabled, but you would see disabled here. You'd have to click Contributor Insights and you would change this guy here from disabled to enabled. From that point forward, any query on your table is going to be monitorable. So you can take a look at the access patterns and graph the amount of queries against particular keys. Uh, keep in mind here, you can have some fine grain access control on here to say certain users can't view this data. And also keep in mind, there are some additional charges for using this feature, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. Uh, so once you click on confirm, any query from that point forward again, will be able to uh, check out the metrics on. So let's go over to contributor insights now. Uh, so luckily I already activated this a few hours ago and I ran a script. As we can see here, I kind of just hit the database randomly with some queries. And if we look a little closer here, what's going on? So we have most access items, partition key only. Uh, and this one is most access items, partition key plus sort key. Now let's talk about the top two first. Uh, so in this graph, we have our three partition keys, Canada, USA, and Australia. Uh, and we can see here over time, the traffic was shifting, right? So at this spike here, we had, uh, what, 206 it said? Yeah, oh, there we go. 206 queries for Canada, 79 for Australia, and 29 for the US. And this kind of obviously shifted over time. Uh, since I wasn't doing any queries for a particular sort key, this graph is gonna be blank. But if your query pattern uses the sort key, it would show the data there. And you'd see the combination of the partition key and sort key. Um, so for instance, Canada and Ontario for the province and, or USA and Texas. Uh, if you were querying on those types of keys, that would show up in this graph over here. Now down here is an interesting one as well. This shows the throttling. Uh, so this is throttling on the partition key. So this is kind of the comparator to the graph up here. And uh, same for this graph. This is for partition key and sort key throttles. Uh, so this also shows you which keys are getting throttled. And this is a pretty important graph for those of you that know anything about hotkeys in DynamoDB. Uh, this problem has gotten a little bit better in the past year with the addition of something called adaptive capacity. Uh, if you're more interested in that, you don't know what it is, go check out my video on DynamoDB schema design. I'll link it in the section below. Uh, but it's important that you maintain minimal throttling and design your table in a way such that you minimize throttling. Uh, and then in this example, we can see here we have throttling across all our keys. In your example, in a real life one, uh, you may have one particular key that is getting absolutely hammered and queried on uh, at a very high rate. Uh, and that can result in throttling for other components of your table. Uh, so this kind of helps you identify two things really, um, these two graphs combined. They show you about what items people are accessing. Uh, so that can be used from a business metric perspective. Um, and it also shows you a little bit about the throttling that's going on in your table as well. So that's a little bit about how it works. Uh, you can actually access this data from the CloudWatch console. So if you go to CloudWatch and you go to Contributor Insights down here, you can see the sums on this data actually, not just the graphs. Uh, so these are the comparative, they're called rules. That's how this data is gathered. It's by analyzing log data. This is all happening behind the scenes. Uh, so DynamoDB Contributor Insights, PKC stands for Primary Key Count, I believe. So if we click on that graph, that's uh, what we had before. Uh, now here we can see more granular data here. So the count within a specific time frame. You can also like zoom in here and see particular ranges. So if you want to cut your data in a specific way to look at it, um, you can you can do so. Uh, so that's a little bit about how this works. Also the same thing for the throttling, like we saw um, for the 
sort key, which we don't have in this example, and sort key throttling as well, which we also don't have. Um, in terms of pricing, this is an additional charge, like I said. The free tier comes in at one contributor rule per month. If you enable this on a table, you by default get four rules. So this will be multiplied by four in terms of your usage. And the first million log events that match the rule, uh, that becomes absolutely free for you. Uh, if you use more than that, then obviously there are some costs and those costs are down here. So that would be 50 cents per rule per month. So if you have one table, that's basically $2. Uh, that's just the base price. In addition to that, you have the matched log events. So this is for every query essentially on your table. Uh, it'll be 2 cents per 1 million log events that it's capturing and analyzing. If you enjoyed this video, check out my one in the top right here on DynamoDB Schema Design. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.